Okay, we're back for part two. Uh, we've just heard a mysterious voice coming from our bedroom. Zelda's been sucked down to the surface. It's all very sad and mysterious. And this is some of the best music in the game right here. I wish you could look up because the sky seems like it's like beautiful. Oh well. why they made these things like this. But this legitimately scared me when I first played. And then they make such sad sounds. Like, why? got a jelly blob. It may look like a boring wad of gunk, but it's used to make all sorts of things. Wow. Also, this jump is just downright terrifying. So is this one... The keys. Inside the statue of the goddess. Gasp. Wow, much sword. Very Yeah, blade. A hey girl. The one chosen by my creator. I've been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fee is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Link. You must take up the sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. He's like, what? <laughs> the strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance. Uncertainty. Surrounding the fate of one you hold dear. 
Under the circumstances, it's only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. Oh, that's heartbreaking. And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one, fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up the sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept the sword? <laughs> It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Hell yes. Ready stance. You got the goddess sword! This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Neat. Recognition complete. Master. Link. My master. Uh, yep. Whoa! Link! I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will awake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago, the sword that I've kept secret all these years. It began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first I was sure I was seeing things, here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of the legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah uh, yes, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. Oh, they have? The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. He's like, I'm doing what now? Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with a spirit ma maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place. To reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. We got ways.
This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. Wow, an old tablet. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you've charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. The music in the background here is like my favorite song in the entire game, just about. Master Link, it's done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I've recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. You can summon me whenever you require my assistance. Link, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old texts is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this fee says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Link. Especially down there. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legends true okay you do your people proud link dawn is drawing near it has been a long night for the both of us hasn't it you have a great journey before you link and those clothes they don't look up to the task the uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now a sturdy uniform like that will prove you much more suitable for a long journey You'd better change before you go. That's more like it. <laughs> that green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. Yeah, the Skyward Sword uniform is perfect. Look at those blue eyes. Take care on your journey. Be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You're always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Oh, 
Alrighty, Roo. Hey. Link! It's Fledge! That green uniform looks so adventurous. You should look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. You got the adventure pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. Ta-da! It's an adventure pouch. It's for uh, adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. You could buy some potions and a shield. They'd fit in the pouch and they might come in handy on an adventure. Link, I just know you'll find Zelda for us. I like how he's like, yeah, you can put a shield in that pouch. Look at it. It's so small. And when Link does get a shield, he just keeps it on his back. And yet it, I think it still takes up a space in the pouch. Ugh, Zelda games. Ah. I thought he was naked for a second. Uh, Zelda's fallen down through the clouds. You're gonna look for her. Headmaster told me there's land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? Well, there better be land down there. Uh, so that's the famous sword, but it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield. Here, take this with you. Breaks easily and can burn. Be careful how you use it. If it breaks, you can buy a new one. If you're not sure how to use a shield, Aegis will happily teach you. Blah blah blah. There we go. Shield. Whoa. Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. Column of light has appeared to the south of our location. Signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword would result in a decreased probability of survival. If you've not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potions at the bazaar. Another subject. Once you're accustomed to the controls, you're free to modify the modify the on-screen interface. Blah 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 blah. Uh See what we can't do here. This guy, oh yeah, he upgrades stuff like the net and such. That's item storage. Yes, the adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured. Let me tell you, one look at you and I can tell you I need my potions by the cauldron full, so don't try to slink away without stocking up. Oh dear. I forgot to ask you if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. I like you though, so I'll give you a spare one I've been keeping. That's what I want. <laughs> and then you can go get your potion powered up if you want. can't get bombs because I don't have bounce much. Um, in fact, there's nothing I can buy from him. So we'll just head on out. I think that's about all I can get at this point. So we're on our way. Um, but we're gonna 
saved first. If I can find a bird to save at. It's Beetle's Air Shop. It's here. He sells bug nets. I want one so bad. If you ring it, Beetle will stop for you and pick you up. But the bell is up off the ground. You'd have to launch something. Well, can't do that. Not until I get the slingshot. Uh, there's a bird. There we go. Okay, so we're going off to that green light kind of behind the tower there. Yup, there it is. I've only been told how to do that eight times. Get that bird with the rupee. Ultimate skydiving. Sure have. This is the fabled surface. We are in the sealed grounds. I'm overly excited for what happens here later. Glad I remembered how to backflip. For information. Blah, blah, blah. Whoops.
Yeah, he's gonna have to do more than cower later on. of destiny descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Can do. None of that noise. Another good tune. Just the music in general in here is really nice. Thing is I don't have to worry about my sword breaking. Oh. Nice bracelet there, old lady. Ah, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. What is your name? Link. Ah, uh, Link. Good. Very good. I sense you've already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I've sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, all so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess on eternity ago. Your arrival here was pre predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you. 
Ascending to this land in a shower of light. There is no doubting it, the gears of time have started to turn. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Link, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. The girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. She set out for Farron Woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. The X upon your map marks the map that marks the path that will lead you to Farron Woods. You'll be traveling in an unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press C to place a beacon. You haven't set a beacon over X yet. Uh. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing C. Uh, you'll never forget getting lost. Hold on. Go now. You must head into Farron Woods and chase after the Spirit Maiden the one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. Yeah, I, I already got that. You're ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. Uh, all right. Oh! Uh... Uh, how do I do this? There we go. <laughs> That's useful to have. More useful than a revitalizing potion, anyway. IMO. Farron Woods. May as well cut all the grass. I can't remember how much money you need in this game in general, but uh, it never hurts, I guess. Out of the way, scram! guys will even attack me. Oh yeah, they will. Ooh, thanks for jumping in there to rescue me, bud. Just who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. 
I owe you big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. Hey, bud. I'm Gorko the Goron. I'm researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, there's some kind of place up above us called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky, or down from this Isle of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They're rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue is special, as it is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. This whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I, for one, believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? It is a real head-scratcher, bud. Makes you want to know more, does it not? No, I'm done. Oh, that's so... I was hoping to tell you more, but I guess I can wait. Whoa! What in the world just happened? Did you use come some kind of magic? Said you reacted the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? Crazy indeed. So yeah, we can use these to jump back up to the sky. Uh, but we're not gonna do that right now. Goro! What was that? The statue just reacted to you. What did you do? Come on, do not make a big guy beg. I've got to know. Hashtag walks away. Let's chill. What's this? Uh, why don't I remember this? Oh, it's a shortcut. Cool. Oh, I'm so excited to get a bow. Fine. Don't give me rupees. Master, you've entered Farron Woods. Big tree. The plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including this massive tree. It is logical that the lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species to the region. Looking at the probabilities, it is extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in the area. I recommend you continue to use your dowsing ability to search for her. Uh, I hate using the dowsing ability. But it's gonna just beep at me until I do. Oh, really? That way? Like, the only way I can go? Shocker. I don't know what these do besides explode. <laughs> Nothing. I guess. I know they get stuck to you.
<laughs> they are so weird looking. Huh? It's gone quiet. Pui Koo! Now there's a green one. I didn't know they came in green. Don't hurt me! I like how Link does nothing. He runs like so far away and turns around and sees him and just like screams again. Zelda? The probability of this life form being Zelda is 5%. So I must conclude that this, in fact, not Zelda, but a peaceful forest creature known as a Kikui. Kikwis are highly intelligent beings capable of speech. Yes, upon further observation, clearly not Zelda. Is she saying that Zelda's like stupid? <laughs> it's unclear why such a creature would elicit a dowsing response attuned to Zelda. You should follow the creature, investigate this phenomenon. Cape. I didn't mean to actually like frighten it. I, this thing is just sparked now. I want to know why. Oh, I don't know. Where did he go now? Um. Why did you fight off all those red monsters? Key, Palip, I'm Machi. I'm a Kikui. You seem okay, even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. That's weird. A little while ago I ran into another funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. What's a Zelda? I don't know who this girl was, but she was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. A pack of those mean red guys were after her, but she escaped with the Kikui Elder. <laughs> Way to go, Fee. Master, we've obtained new information on Zelda's current status. She was assailed by monsters, but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. I've marked the position of the Kikui known as Machi. Please confirm your current location. Furthermore, my analysis suggests that this Kikui most likely produces a false positive dowsing reaction due to previous direct contact with Zelda. No shit. There's an 85% chance that the Kikui Elder will also generate a dowsing reaction for the same reason. Continue dowsing. You really spooked me. You keep some very strange company, friend. Sounds like you're set on finding this friend and the Elder. If you're heading that way anyway, would you mind telling our Elder that I'm safe? I bet your friend is safe with our Elder. Yeah, you like don't actually find a find Zelda 
in here, as far as I remember. But, whatever. What can you do? Amber! Bling! Um, oh. Oh, I just hopped back down to where I was. Okay, that's not where I want to be. So I guess that's another shortcut. Classic, of course. where we want to go. Maybe it is. Ah, just move. Okay, we're gonna fight here. That's okay. Wasn't there another one? No? Can I climb trees? No. None of that. Um, I'm not sure the elder's like. Yeah, he's over on the other side of that thing. coming back here later on. I 
Kambucha, the Kikui Elder. I saw the way you spotted me through my ingenious camouflage. Kui, you are clearly a master woodsman. Where is Zelda? Zelda? Ah, oh, the girl creature with the blonde hair. She looked like one of your kind. Yep, she was with me, Kui. But now is not the time for such talk. The woods are full of monsters. I'm worried about my missing tribe. The shock and worry has made my memories of the girl quite hazy. Yeah, sure it has. What? You say you've met some of my people, Kui? Kui, so Machi is safe, hey? Ah, uh, but the monsters, they're still lurking in the forest. I don't dare leave this spot. Three Kikwis are still unaccounted for. Could I ask you to search for them and make sure they're safe, Kui? I'm worried sick for my fellow Kikwis. If you could calm my fears, I might be able to remember more about where the girl you seek went off to, Kui. Alright, Zelda's no longer with the Kikui Elder. It's an unfortunate setback. He may still have useful info. Calculate an 85% probability that your quest will be aided if you find the lost Kikuis for the Elder. I have added Kikuis as a dowsing option. Okay, this is the one time I will actually use dowsing. Uh, no, you do not need to explain that. Disable dowsing readings for them, that way you'll not revisit the same ones. Blah, 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 blah. but I always have issues with that balancing thing. me. Now this one says he's- oh right, below me. <laughs> I like how you have to pick them up. Don't eat me, I taste terrible! Oh, the elder was worried about me? I'm glad to hear he's safe, Wee. I'm Ulu. If you meet the elder, tell him I'm here, Key Philippe. I don't know if it's safe yet. I'm gonna stay here a while longer and wait for those monsters to go away. Still Kiwis to search for. What was that? Don't scare me like that. <laughs> All right.
Okay, obviously I don't have bombs yet. Which is why I can't open that. Sword. How does that make any sense? I've been discovered. I'm Erla. You won't find another key queen in these woods that's half as good as hiding it as I am, except the elder, of course. <laughs> I like how Earl is not scared of her. He's like, oh, whatever. You met the elder and he's okay? Glad to hear it. Tell him I'm here. Okay, friend. Oh, right, I remember where the last one is. Oh, I just have to find my way over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to use that... that rope to get there. Um... means I have to get back to the elder. At least I think I do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the only way over there. I can... Nope. Okay, hopefully my remote is uh, nicer to me this time around. Yep. 
Like, it doesn't matter how I... Oh! Right. I was just tilting it the wrong way. Whoa. Yeah, I always feel like I'm tilting the actual remote side side, but you're actually turning it, not tilting it. I don't know why I always mix that up, but I did. Oh, of course. Flail until, you know, it works. Uh, you fought off all those red guys. Does that mean you're a good guy? My legs have turned to jelly. I can't get down. Think you could help me, Quee? Detect no monsters. Therefore conclude it is safe for the Kikui to leave its perch. Kikui is unable to descend the tree. I suggest you find a way to expedite his dismount. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit rough, but it works. Ouch, that uh, was effective. Anyway, thanks to you, I'm saved. Keep a leap. Really? The Elder was worried about me? Well, I'm glad to hear he's safe. My name's Lopsa. If you see the Elder, can you tell him where I am? Oh, my legs are still shaking. <laughs> Go speak with the Kikui Elder. I thought you were another monster. Don't scare me like that. Shortcut. Much better. Oh, that was a nice little roll there. All the way back to the elder. Nice little area here. Ah, fine. All right, hey, big guy. All my fellow Kikwis are well, and they want me to stop worrying. Excellent, they know me too well. You have a real talent for whatever fi finding whatever's missing. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you have my thanks. <laughs> I feel much less worried now. I believe I just remembered where that young lady went. That young girl, Zelda, was that her name? It's coming back to me. She said she had to travel to the temple deep within these woods. I tried to warn her about how dangerous it was there, but the clever little thing vaulted off my belly and ran off on her own just the same. That image is actually, like, hilarious. I think she headed down that way towards the temple, but be sure to take great care if you follow her. That area is crawling with monsters. 
I almost forgot. As a reward for finding all my fellow Kikwis, I will give you a precious Kikwi heirloom. Let me fetch it for you right now. Pardon me a moment. Like, where is he getting it from? Oh, right. Seems legit. My first tool. <laughs> With that slingshot, you should be able to find a path into the deep woods where the temple is. To start, why not try shooting that curled up vine over there? Press B to ready your slingshot, then A to let a shot fly. If you run out of ammunition, just grab some seeds from the fruit that grows on the trees over there. Go find that girl. I'll be rooting for you. Quee he he. Yep, easy enough. Alright, we're gonna stop there for part two, I think. Um, and we are on our way to uh, the temple deep in the woods to find Zelda. Thanks for watching, guys.